Hey everyone, welcome to part two of my entire video game collection. Today I'm focusing on my DS and 3DS game collection. I know I, I said I'd talk about my GameCube games as well, but I think I'm going to save those for another part. Um, so before I get started, uh, I do want to talk about some of the loose games that I have for the DS. Um, I'm not exactly sure where they are right now, uh, but uh, first up we've got Lego Star Wars, the original trilogy. Um, which is is a, a decent kind of uh, 3D game on on the DS, and then uh, Dimentium: The Ward, which is a really interesting um, first-person horror game for the DS. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting it. I haven't played too much of it, but it was pretty cool. Um, next up, I want to show off these. These are games. These are game ca card cases that I got from Club Nintendo. This one is uh, for the original uh, DS, holds uh, nine games and comes with different uh, stylized styluses, whatever you want to call them. And uh, this one is for the 3DS. This one actually holds 18 games, which is awesome, um, and has some different uh, backgrounds that, that you can put in there. I think it comes with like three. Um, now getting into the, the actual games here. First up, we have Aliens Infestation. This is a pretty cool um, 2D game, uh, kind of Metroidvania-esque. Uh, haven't played too much of it, but uh, good art style on it. Um, I would definitely recommend this one. Next up, we have Castlevania Order of Ecclesia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Man, I really do need to take these GameStop stickers off. Uh, but, you know, I love... The Castlevania games, especially on the DS, you know, those were kind of the pinnacle of the Castlevania games before Konami kind of revamped the series and then, you know, forgot about it and then went to hell, basically. <laughs> um, but this is a, a really good game. Definitely recommend this. Picking up all the Castlevania games on, on DS. I really need to pick up more of them. Next up, we've got The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. This, both the uh, Zelda DS games aren't the best <laughs> Zelda games. Uh, you know, they really try to kind of um, have the game revolve around touchscreen mechanics, which didn't work as well as they wanted it to, I think. So these are, are definitely a departure from the Zelda series. Uh, this one and uh, the first game in the series, uh, Phantom Hourglass. But they're decent. They're, they are decent games. Next up we've got uh, Okami Den. Uh, this is kind of a DS version of the Wii game Okami. Um, only played a little bit of this, but uh, nice, uh, nice art style on it. Pretty fun. And I, I think it, it works really well. You have this celestial brush, and it works really well, you know, drawing with the... Uh, the touch screen so next up we have Pacross 3d i love Pacross. um great puzzle game having this in 3d makes it even harder and, and yes this is a, an this is an original ds game it's not like 3d as in 3ds but it adds a third dimension to it and uh it definitely does make it a lot more challenging but i i love i love that puzzle series Next up, we have Professor Layton and The Last Spectre. Um, I really enjoy these games. I haven't gotten too far in, into them because, you know, the puzzles can be can be fairly challenging on them. Uh, but but these are, are pretty cool games to have. I also have uh, Professor Layton and The Unwound Future. Again, pretty fun game. Next up, Sonic Rush. This is a a really good Sonic game on, on the DS. Utilizes both screens and uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Definitely recommend this. I think this is probably better than Sonic Rush Adventure, the sequel, um, but that one's still good as well. And then finally for the DS games, we've got Star Fox Command. I played a little bit of this and I don't know. I need to, I really need to kind of get in, get, spend more time with it. 
Uh, I don't really like the controls. Uh, they kind of use the, the touch screen again, and it to me it just I I didn't really like it all that much, but need to get back into it. All right, that's it for the DS games. So now we're going to talk about the uh, 3DS games I have. I don't have a huge 3DS collection. Um, I think with the 3DS, I, I really like it a lot more than the DS. Uh, I think as far as uh, the graphical capability on the 3DS is a lot better, and that, that's kind of why I like it. I want to I want to have like 3D handheld games. Uh, so first up, we've got Super Smash Brothers. Uh, I really do need to get the Wii U version of this, but honestly, the 3DS version plays great. Uh, it's probably not the ideal way to play Smash Brothers, but still, it's it's a really good game. Next up, we've got Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. Uh, I need to get the other Professor Professor Layton game on the 3DS. Um, but again, really like these games. Love puzzle games. Uh, but yeah, the, the puzzles are can be kind of hard in this, but still cool to have. Next up, new Super Mario Bros. 2. Probably not as good as the first one uh, way back on the, uh, the DS, but still a, a pretty fun game. Um, you know, honestly, I think I think the, the 2D Mario platformers are... I'm kind of getting burnt out on them because they keep coming out with one every few years. And it's kind of more of the same. Uh, they do try to change some things up in this uh, with the coin rush mode and uh, and a, a few other things in it. But uh, yeah, it's it's not the best two D uh, Mario platformer, but still fun and it's done right. Uh, next up, Super Mario Three D Land. Great, great game. Uh, definitely recommend this if you have a three DS. A lot, a lot of fun. Maybe a bit on the easy side, but still a lot of fun. Next up, we have Shinobi. This is a really fun uh, 2D action platformer. Uh, it's really challenging, but, but still pretty fun. Next up, we have Spirit Camera, The Cursed Memoir. This, uh, this is a weird game. This actually includes an AR book that you're supposed to use in conjunction with the game. The, to have augmented reality in it. I haven't really played too much of this, but this actually includes um, a Fatal Frame game on it, uh, which is kind of neat, but haven't played too much of it. Next up, we have Steel Diver. I got this for super cheap, uh, like five bucks, and that's about how much this is worth. This is a lot more of a tech demo than an actual retail release. Uh, still kind of cool. It, it can be fun. Uh, definitely using the uh, periscope. Uh, to, you know, you can actually use the, the accelerometer in the uh, 3DS to move around your periscope and aim and uh, shoot torpedoes. So that's pretty fun. But as far as actually playing the game, it is kind of unique in that you have all the controls on, on the bottom touchscreen. And, and you control your sub that way. It is a bit awkward, but it kind of works. But yeah, definitely not worth you know making this into a retail release. Um, next up, we have Pilot Wings Resort. And this is another one that kind of probably shouldn't have been a retail release. Or at least, if it was, should have had more content in it. But for what we get in this, it's actually pretty... Pretty good. Um, definitely shows off the capabilities of the system, and um, it's fun. It's fun. Next, we've got Paper Mario Sticker Star. This is not a very good Paper Mario game. Um, haven't played too much of it, but but yeah, not not very good. Uh, you go around collecting stickers, and you use those stickers in in attacks, but um, it's it is kind of annoying. You know, when you collect the stickers and then you you use them, it, it's just annoying to have to keep on collecting them. Um, so I don't think that re really was implemented all too well. But I mean, the graphics are pretty nice on it. Uh, but yeah, not not the best Paper Mario game. Next up, we have Mario and Luigi Dream Team. I love these Mario and Luigi games. Uh, definitely looking forward to. 
Mario and Luigi Paper Jam, where they do a crossover with uh, Paper Mario series. This one's pretty fun. Uh, you can actually you can go into Luigi's dreams and manipulate him in the real world using the the touch screen. So it, it's it's kind of it's kind of a neat game. Next up, we've got Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Who knew that they would come out with a a great sequel to Luigi's Mansion? Uh, when Luigi's Mansion originally came out, it was kind of an odd game. Um, I mean, you would you would have thought that they would have launched the GameCube with a Mario game, but you know they they made Luigi a Ghostbuster pretty much. But this is this is still a really fun game. Great graphics on it. Next up, uh, we've got Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Uh, really happy to have this. This game is getting hard to find now. Um, but o Ocarina of Time is a game that I've never beaten. And I really, really need to get back into this and and, and beat it. Because I definitely want to play. Because, I mean, I, I love the game for what I've played so far. But, uh, but yeah, I've never, I've never gotten like really far into it or beaten it so next uh is crosswords plus um uh, i think i picked this up for five bucks and uh this is really fun i like puzzle games i like crosswords and uh this has a ton of them um and it's it is what it is i mean it's it's a fun puzzle game with over a thousand puzzles and uh it doesn't really have any 3D effects. I, I think really the only thing in there is uh, when you actually beat a, a a crossword, it'll like shoot like fireworks up or something like you did it, and that's in 3D. Uh, but still a cool puzzle game. Next up, we've got Legend of Zelda: A Link Between Worlds, another Zelda game that I need to get back into. Uh, but this is great. Um, this has kind of a unique concept of you can actually go into walls and uh, traverse you can traverse walls and go onto a ledge that you couldn't get to before so that's kind of cool um also this uses a very similar map to legend of zelda a link to the past which is a fantastic game i love a link to the past and uh this is this is a really good zelda game next up we've got kirby triple deluxe this is a really fun game um i i, I really enjoy kirby games you know, growing up, I wasn't a big Kirby fan, but I definitely am now. Definitely recommend picking this game up. This also has some um, mini games on it, uh, like uh, Kirby Fighters and uh, DDD's Drum Dash. Uh, they actually have deluxe versions of those um, on the eShop, which you can download, but still pretty cool to have them here. And then finally, we have Mario Kart 7. Uh... This is the game that really got me into loving Mario Kart. Um, you know, I would play the uh, N64 version with friends, but I was terrible at it. I was just really terrible at it. But I think um, they've really improved the mechanics in, in these more modern Mario Kart games where really anybody can can pick up and play and, and become really good at the game. So, um, But yeah, it's just a really fun, really fun game. All right, guys, well, that is it for part two of my entire video game collection. Uh, tune in next time for my GameCube collection. And uh, as always, uh, like the video, share it, and subscribe. Till next time.